for a thousand miles apart For better or for worse you stood next to me Always found a way not to give up on me Remember when you used to say You know our love can save it all
It's a holy grail I've gotta find Only you can set my heart on fire On fire Decided, Father God. And Lord, today we want to say thank you for uh, these two families, Vijayan family and the Dovi, Do Lord Davis family. We just thank you for Hemant and Sophia. We just thank you for bringing them together today. And we ask your blessings upon them. Blessings on these two families and Sophia and Hemant. Lord, I ask that every step which they take in their life, established institution of God. It's not the man who has decided, it is God who decided. It's not that when we became civilized and educated, we decided, let us have that. It was all God who planned it, and it's God's established institution. And we are going to witness that. Especially today, when we see today, the value of marriage in the world is going down. But here we see that they are honoring both of them have come and you are the witness. Always one thing I have believed, as I said in the beginning, God's plan. God's plan for creating human being, man and woman, was to bless them. It's a blessed occasion. It's God's plan. God's, God wants to bless each one of us. We have been blessed. Well, I've been blessed 30 years ago. And uh, so today, I just wanted to give one or two thoughts. As we witness here, we are here to rejoice together with them.
become a blessings for many. And Lord, I just commit them and whole ceremony in your hand in Jesus name. Amen. Please be seated. Believe me when I say <laughs> it's not always easy to follow the one you love. Love leads you places where you can never go alone. Love stands by your side in the best of times and in the worst of times. Love leads you on when it feels impossible to take another step. Love makes the simple things fantastic and the most difficult challenges possible to bear. Love celebrates who we are. Love encourages us each day. Love is never satisfied with the time there is to share. Love initiates more. More of every part of our being. It enlarges who we are and fills in, in the gaps where we fall short on our own. Love is a gift, a gift to be treasured, a gift to be nurtured, a gift to be savored, a gift to be received and then lavishly poured out on one another. You have been found by love. You both have been found by love. Love is a blessing. Love is blessing you today. Where you, where you were once two, you will now become one. A powerful union reflecting the goodness of love who is God. Allow him to fill you and strengthen you each day so that you impart to one another what is needed in the moment. Love is alive and desires to enrich you each day. Embrace love. Rest in love. Abide and we all know that it came from right from our heart now i would like to invite uh, mr janki Tien to come him and mommy, mother come and say a few words today is a day you will always remember you will start off the day with just two people in love and end up as husband and wife it's a new beginning of a journey with moments to cherish and treasure. Though there will be many times when you both disagree, be assured they surely will be outweighed by pleasure. I'm sure you both had a real curtain raiser of the roller coaster ride ahead as you even managed this great day of yours. <laughs> Staying in different continents and organizing your wedding in another in itself is a task and I must commend that the two of you had done a great job to begin with. Wish you all success all through your journey of life and shower our blessings on you too. I formally welcome Sophia to our family this day. Though we have shared this mother-daughter relationship since the last two plus years already. May you always be blessed with love and joy. Prabhu Maha Vicharu Karya Tere Kitne Adha Jo Tune Banahe Paharisha Say jab me niche de khun Jhene behte 
Bhati Shital Vayu Prashan Sahave Prabhu Ishati Kitna Maha Kitna Maha Prashan Sahave Prabhu Ishati Kitna Maha When I in awesome wonder consider all the worlds the hands have made, I see the stars, I hear the rolling thunder, thy power throughout the universe display then sings my soul my savior god to thee how great thou art how great thou art then sings my soul my savior god to thee how great thou art how great thou art and when i think of god his son not sparing sent him to die i scarce can take it in that on the cross my burden gladly bearing he bled and died to take away my sin then sings my soul Savior God to thee how great thou art how great thou art then sings my soul my Savior God to thee how great thou art God gave me something uh, to share about marriage with you guys. So I'm going to read it so I don't forget anything. But marriage is like traffic in India during the rush hour. <laughs> Sometimes it seems like complete chaos. But there's an actual flow to it. There's an actual rhythm to it. And it's like a dance. So I want to encourage you, hey month and Sophie, to embrace the dance of marriage. It won't be perfect. And some days it's going to look like chaos, much like the traffic in India during rush hour. <laughs> but embrace it. Embrace that dance of marriage. Love each other through the imperfections. Embrace each other more in hard times. Love each other deeply. Allow yourself to be fully known by each other. Walk in the light and not in the darkness, which means allow yourself to be seen by each other, the good, the bad, and the ugly. To the extent of how well you allow yourself to be seen and vulnerable is to the extent of the depth of your love. And trust that God loves marriage and he wants you not just to succeed, but to overflow. Overflow in joy. Overflow in love. 
and overflow in peace. I just wanted to say that I love you so much. <laughs> Thank you so much for allowing us to speak into your lives. It's been a privilege uh, for us. Uh, we've been doing some pre-marriage counseling and things like that. And I just want to tell you that we are here for you guys. It goes beyond this day, of course, and we just love you so much, and we're just so honored. Um, it's been awesome talking to you guys and working with you guys because you guys are almost exactly like us. <laughs> so different and have so just varied gifts and anointings, and, um, and so it's been awesome to see that. So I just want to encourage you that that is such a strength for you too. And the communication and the, the, the fights sometimes, they're worth it because you guys are stronger together. And the things that God has for you to do is stronger with the two of you together and with that unity. So, yeah. So, we just want to bless you and just bless that. And I just encourage you. I know that God has um, world changing on the menu for you guys. You guys are amazing. At this time, um, Haymonth and Sophie have prepared their own vows. And they're going to share those with each other. I, Haman, take you, Sophie, to be my wife, and these things I promise you. I promise to be the man that I see now in your eyes today, tomorrow, and forever always. Whatever happens in our lives together, every day that we are together will be the greatest day of my life. I am so in love with you. I love you. You are my best friend. As I give myself in marriage to you, I promise to inspire you and to let you inspire me. Not to hold back or to not hold us back. I promise to comfort, comfort you in times of sadness, to always love you, even when love is difficult or when love seems too easy. I give you myself today and all the days of my life. I give you my hand and my heart as a sanctuary of warmth and peace and pledge my love, devotion, faith, and honor as I join my life to yours. I was just laughing because... <laughs> I, Sophia, take you, Hema, to be my husband as no other than yourself, loving what I know and trusting what I do not yet know. I promise to serve God, you, and our family first. I'll honor and respect you no matter what happens in life or how stubborn I may be. <laughs> I promise to always encourage the little kid in you, laugh at all your jokes, and make you smile every day. <laughs> I promise to try street food from all around the world with you, <laughs> always think you're the best chef, and forever chase after you like you chase after Chole Betray. <laughs> <laughs> I promise to never stay angry at you, forgive you limitlessly, always be honest with you, and act in integrity in our marriage, our family, and our friendships. Forever, I promise to love you when you watch the sun rise, and I watch the sun set, and every second in between. I'll cherish everything that makes you hey moon and I choose you to be the one who I've spent my life with. This is my ultimate pinky promise, and I promise to be here forever, forever. And now we're gonna do the exchanging of the rings. So do we have the rings? And the rings represent an everlasting covenant that they're making with each other today. Um, the ring is round, it never ends. And it's a representation of two things. It's a representation of your love never ending for each other that your love will go on and on and on forever. And the second thing it represents is that God's love for you is everlasting. And it goes on and on and on, forever and ever and ever. And so I just want to encourage you guys to let that love of the Father, God, inspire you and empower you to love in the same way. And so, Amen. do you have the ring? You can go ahead and place the ring on your bride. Go ahead and take your bride's hand. Say, Sophie. Sophie. With this ring. With this ring. I be wed. As a token of my everlasting love. As a token for, of my everlasting love. Sophie. I'm going to face the ring.
Hey, Mike. Yeah. With this ring. With this ring. I be wed. I be wed. As a symbol. As a symbol. Of our everlasting love. As an ever of our everlasting love. And covenant to each other. And covenant to each other. So at this time, they have chosen to take their first uh, communion in front of all of you all. And so um, we're going to take communion. Tomorrow morning if you wake up and the sun does not appear I, I will be here Okay, I, this is uh, the last time I'm going to do the prayer for both of them and um, I want you to raise your right hand towards them as I pray for the final blessings to them today. Okay? Father, in Jesus' name, I thank you and praise you for this day. <coughs> Again, I said with King David, this is the day that the Lord has made. And be all rejoice and be glad in it. Lord, because you had established this day, Lord. And it was you, Lord, who planned for their life. And Lord, today we pray, lead them, guide them, protect them, bless them, and make them the blessings for many. Lord, we just pray that you be glorified in their life and through their life. Protect them for e from every plan of the enemy. And let them uh, uh, receive all the joy and blessings through you. For we pray in the name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. God bless you. Our lifetimes are made for